Begin with those rallies held in hundreds of cities around the globe today, including the ones you see behind me in Washington, D.C., Austin, Texas, and New York City. These gatherings organized by the Women's March in support of reproductive rights. People here in Milwaukee also joining in in the marches, marching here through downtown. The rallies in response to Texas's new abortion law. It bans abortions past six weeks with no exceptions for rape or incest. It's essential. The abortion ban in Texas could happen here if we don't show support. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. I am incredibly passionate about women's access or everyone's access to re full care reproductive rights, and I think it's something we need to stand up for every day. The U.S. Supreme Court, which denied a request to block the Texas law, returns Monday. Other states are likely to attempt to pass similar legislation in the coming months. Here in Wisconsin, a proposal from Republican State Senator Patrick Teston would ban so-called discriminatory abortions. At the end of the day, this will always affect people of color and poor, people of color and indigenous communities because they're the ones who won't be able to afford to like, leave the state to go get a different abortion. Those people in those states who are poor and have nothing, the only option is unsafe abortion or to have a child that they can't care for. Ahead of the Women's March, a group held a protest outside of Senator Ron Johnson's Milwaukee office. The focus of that rally, also the Texas abortion ban.